Try and get away without that big coat. Otherwise, you're going to be lugging it around this afternoon. 34 in Shawnee, 33 in Overland Park. Lee Summit at 34 with 31 degrees in Leavenworth and Smithville at 29 degrees. Had some dense fog in St. Joseph, but visibility there now rapidly improving. 26 in Chillicothe, 29 in Trenton, Lawrence, Kansas at 23 degrees. So the kids are probably going to need a, a light or a medium sized coat at the bus stop for this morning. 34 degrees heading home near 60. Dare I say feeling just a little bit like spring with a strong west wind and that's going to make it feel quite warm by January standards at the end of the day. A lot of sunshine. You know, we're in the 50s by noon and pushing 60 at 4 o'clock in the afternoon with a lot of sunshine and a west wind. You get a west wind, you go to the western Kansas, some spots uh, the elevation is higher than in Missouri. So that air is coming from a higher elevation, moving down to a lower elevation, and that that sinking compresses the air and heats it even more than what just a, a south wind would do. So that's one of the reasons why we're going to be in the upper 50s near 60 here in Johnson County, Kansas, 60 in Garner, 58 in Olathe, 58 degrees in Raytown, downtown at 60, Independence 57 degrees. 57 is a pretty popular number here in the Northland today. A lot of sunshine from Liberty to Parkville, back to Tonganoxie. We'll be pushing, you guessed it, 60 by the end of the day. Even our, our colder communities, typically in Trenton, Cameron, Bethany, Maryville, they're going to be in the 50s today. 60s, pretty widespread uh, from the river, Interstate 70, South Ottawa, Paola, Butler, and Clinton. So we're starting like this with 50s and 60s, but look what happens by Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. You get the blue that comes in, and blue on a January weather map usually means one thing cold and we'll, it'll be a gradual cold. This isn't going to be that big Arctic hammer just thumping us. We're going to go from the 60s to the 50s to the 40s by Wednesday and then I think Thursday and Friday are going to be our coldest days with more cloud cover and a persistent north wind bringing in colder air from Canada. I only think we make it into the 30s for Thursday and Friday. We don't have to be concerned about any rain or snow until next weekend. 30% chance of light rain and snow.